<laughs> Good evening. We have got a brand new one day special brought by Barbara and Paul. Good evening. Good evening. Back again with yeah. brand new uh, stamps. Yeah, mm. beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stamps. Jane Nestorenko, many of you at home will remember Jane. She was a very good friend of uh, Paul's and mine. Um, sadly, she lost the fight to cancer. Um, a few years ago, nearly three yeah. years ago now, isn't it? And uh, but before she she left us, she she gave us <coughs> a load of art. Well, we paid for it, yeah. but but she she entrusted her artwork to us. So the legacy could continue. That's right, because she said she didn't she didn't want it to to go with her. In fact, um, when we did the first set the three that's on the counter here she was still with us wasn't yep, she she called into the studio it was wonderful. and she was blown away especially with the groovy because the groovy was fairly new and she wasn't into the groovy that's was right she, she couldn't and believe yeah. the artwork could she yeah and so that was a wonderful thing and so those three it's taken us she she illustrated five of these beautiful winter landscapes those three were two years ago, and it's taken us that long for these two yeah. to be um, to join the other three. So they are stamps that are brand new. You have mm. never seen them before here. No, no. And look at those beautiful uh, countrysides. You get masks as well. Very much so. In fact, the masks, I've, I, I want to show you when we go to demonstration, I want to show you there's a little clever little spin Ooh, on the masks, which I is see. really cool. Really cool. Shall we show some samples yeah, as what well? A good because idea. Uh, they are absolutely stunning. So this is this is the one with the little church. There's one with a little church and one with a little bridge. So we're looking at the the little church scene now. So this would be fantastic for weddings, wouldn't it? Not yes. just a winter landscape. Um, oh. Look, see Easter. Easter. That's Perfect. Yeah, that's isn't that gorgeous? That absolutely. I mean, this is so Jane's sort of artwork, isn't yeah, it? That's right. She's so go it's just beautiful. She had a certain flourish that just used to blow us all away. It's so sort of quintessentially, you know, the British countryside, isn't, isn't it? it? Look so this gorgeous. is an English one through a stencil. And then we're, we're, we're back, back to, 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 to the yeah, how now, gorgeous is yeah, that? I'm going to show you the other samples as well that we have got because the bridge is absolutely stunning, yeah. isn't it? And the thing is that you can mix and match these. So you can see here, for example, you're on the bridge. Yeah. And the bridge comes with the sky, with that big, beautiful, dark sky that we added. Yeah. So if so you keep going, yeah, I'll keep go going, show, show. and then I'll show you. So this is one by Sheila, this where she's sorry. added the sky. And then that one there is the sky added too. So, but the thing is that the sky can also be added to the church one. Oh. So it's interchangeable like that. And you could take, for example, the the one that's yeah. the, the the fence. That one. Yeah. And then put you it. can add it to the look, make it into a wall by the bridge. So do you see how clever that is? Um, this one is by Deb McMullen, and she's taken the 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 fence here the wall the stone wall yeah. and she's added it to the other set because the wall comes actually with the church yeah, doesn't that it is a, and I love this one as well where there's a sky can you see that's beautiful. in that beautiful there's a sky that we're talking about and have a look at this one so this is one by Deb McMullen and she's used both stamps so she's put the bridge in and then she's actually added the church in the background so she's created a whole other beautiful landscape Isn't a Christmas card from those two Lovely, lovely illustrations by yes, Jane amazing. Nestorenko. So if you want to go for the one day special, those beautiful uh, stamps, uh, stamps by with the work of Jane Nestorenko, uh, if you want to go for it, the item number is 381344. And uh, now 10% of the stock has <laughs> already gone. And remember, this is a one day special, which is the stocks are meant to last 24 hours. But you know, we have, you know, not even 10 minutes in the first hour, not even five minutes in and we are already 10% uh, of the stock has already gone. Now the price is £29.98 plus PNP, but look at the saving. It's an amazing saving, £10 on you, that you are saving on those beautiful clarity stamps and masks. Uh, basically, it works out really pulled. It's about 25%. 25 yeah. Wow, 25% off because we are, of course, mm. in the middle of Cyber 6, so you are getting a lot of good deals in there as well. And the now, way in which Jane designed, the way she illustrated, is that a lot of her designs can be decoupaged as well because yeah. Jane course. loved decoupage. Yes, she did. Um, so, um, so when you look at the stamps and you stamp them out several times, yes. um, you can see Barbara how... Barbara Lancaster. Yeah. 
Look and and Jane and loved the sort of decoupage effect. Yeah, um, look at that. And she drew them to get that layering, yeah. didn't she? Which yeah. is gorgeous, which is why we we yes. introduced the sky in the background to give that even further that yes, depth. Mm. Of course, that yeah. is absolutely stunning. Beautiful, so that isn't is the one day special, well done, that set of stamps uh, by Jane Nasarenko. Now we have got that, but we also have got groovy plates, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah. And we're we featuring that amazing artwork. Exactly. And and when Jane, I remember mm. Because obviously this was this was our kind of contribution to her artwork, yeah. she, and we, we went to see her, didn't we? And, and we, we showed her the artwork. Do you remember all the yeah. samples? She could not believe what we parchers can do with line art. She was just that's blown right. Away. And parchment, the groovy was only about six months old back yeah, then. Yeah, that's right. Um, and when she saw, but she because she'd she'd seen parchment craft, but not using her designs. No. And she was just blown away that we could create her artwork. I mean, look at that. That is Isn't that absolutely beautiful? stunning. Look at that. That's so sort of like illuminated. It yeah. is. Who's done this? Francis Knott, traditional yeah. Yeah, you can see that traditional mm. art yeah. aspect. You and then look now, it's not winter. No. It's not a winter wonderland. No, this, this is, is Glynis's. Another trad yeah. parcher. Yeah, there you go. It just looks like Yorkshire, doesn't it? Yeah. Look oh, at that one. Gorgeous. Oh, sorry, apologies for that one. Uh, moving on. Look at those gorgeous. Look at the beautiful colouring on that one. So, so this is Josie Day. Is that um, Josie's? Yeah. Uh, well. yeah, Josie Day. Look, but I love how the different proportions of the cards, they are not just a square, not just a rectangle, not just big, can be a small, yeah. you can make it. And what is really beautiful as well, with the groovy as well, is exactly what you're saying. You can mix and match the elements, and because mm. when Jane drew it, she drew so many little clusters of trees, and this little bit, and that little element, and you can inter, they, they can cross-pollinate all the plates. And when you go to the neck, the, the original yeah. three, you can cross pollinate all of those as well. Yeah. So it's really so quite many possibilities. Now, the item number for the groovy plates featuring Jane Renka's artwork uh, is 701605. Uh, now, 20% yeah. of the stock has already gone. And remember, we, we, we're supposed to, the stock is supposed to last 24 hours. Mm -hmm. And yet, uh, you know, 20% of not even 10 minutes in. We only been talking about for two minutes or three minutes in yeah. these upper particular item. £16.98 is the price plus PNP and making a saving of £5 in that. Now we have got uh, the complete bundle of uh, stamps. Can you talk us exactly what you are getting in here, Barbara? Hey. Oh, Paul. Paul. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, yeah, sorry. Paul. Okay, so what we've done, we've done, we know how popular the, um, they are. Yeah. Um, so what we've done is we've got at the top, we've got the two brand new ones in there, which is the one day special. And we know that there's a lot of new viewers. So what we've done is we've included the three previous ones that we launched to uh, back in 2016. Mm -hmm. And you'll see that it's that same beautiful style, <laughs> the same decoupage element to it. And then on these ones, you've got various different elements on them. So, I mean, that sledge, you can sort of cut those out and then we're moving on to the beautiful children with the snowman um, so in addition to the ten pound saving that you're getting from the one day special you're also getting an additional 23 pound saving so the screen will show a 23 pound saving but you're also getting the extra £10 saving so as well. Wow. It, it, is, yeah. uh, it is an amazing saving. Uh, of course, that is above £66. So, <laughs> £60, so there you can also do a flexi bust over yep, there, I believe. So, be because uh, that's so. But, you know, it's going to be in a, in a second. <laughs> so, we are going to uh, face well that. I'm going to do, uh, you know, you can see here. Look that at that. Oh, I love that. I love it too. Who did this? Lynn Hammond, oh Lynn, I miss you. Uh, this is absolutely stunning. So she's taken the same plate and mixed it up, isn't it? Just gorgeous. It is absolutely stunning. But I love that way you won, uh, Barbara, because it's, it's such Look at a that. Jane Nestorenko as well. Yeah, yeah. Isn't absolutely it? fantastic. It's just that Look at that. That's Dee Paramore's, really beautiful. And this is gorgeous, Jane yeah, Telford. Yeah. Look at this for a. A, a fantastic stepper card. Step card. Look at this. And that is Thank what you, it's kind of <laughs> that step. You Isn't know, that, that lovely? you were talking about yeah. it in a different way. And yeah. taking in all the different, different elements and then just mm. layering it up. Isn't it gorgeous? It is absolutely stunning. Love it, love it. So, and then look at those ones. And of course, incorporating other stamps or stencils that you may have. And this is Helen. Helen was Jane's, Jane's best friend. Jane's right-hand oh. person. Yeah. yeah. That yeah. is gorgeous. Cool. Whenever Jane did workshops, Helen was always right there. Oh, Helen yeah. was to Jane what you are to me. Mm. Is that oh. right? Yeah. 
Look at that. And look, look at that. So she's used a stencil here. Isn't that gorgeous? This is Barbara Lancaster. So she really got the essence. See, so what she's done is she's brought the children forward. She's dropped the, 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 that's actually at the front of the scene in the actual stamp to the back. So there's, the, there's so much room for play. It's crazy, mm, I isn't know. it? Yeah. And especially with the different elements on there. So I mean, this one is gorgeous. Yeah. This oh, one yeah. I just wanted to show Milner. because yeah. the, the size of it. Because <laughs> shrink plastic. It's a shrink plastic. Or oh, basically, this is my, my size, Paula's <laughs> size, and the re regular person size. <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> you know, that's what happens. Anyway, so if you want to go for the full collection, uh, including the brand new ones as well as the previously released from Jaina Sorenko. The item number is 653479. Of course, 66 uh, pounds and 95 is the price you, which you can uh, spread into cost, into payments. Uh, you're saving 23 pounds, but you plus, can, plus 10 <coughs> that carries forward. So it is yeah. actually, in actual uh, fact, you are saving 33 pounds. Yeah. Now we have got a uh, groovy as well. We have uh, more groovy. And uh, now here it features the brand new ones as well as That's some That's right, so it's the same configuration so you've got the two brand new plates in there um, and then we've got Jane's three original winter scenes in there as well again same exactly the same as the stamps mm -hmm. um, but just in groovy format um, and what you'll see here it shows a 17 pound saving but you're also getting that five pound saving carried over from the two groovy plates as well Right, so uh, we're going to show you some samples because this the is Linda team. Williams yeah, look, look at, at this that. Oh. Piece. Gorgeous. So this gorgeous I'll, I'll hold it if you like yeah okay. there you go Look, at, Look that. at that. Isn't that gorgeous? So you see that Linda's created that aperture, that beautiful aperture with her multi-needle tool. Isn't that He's delightful? So amazing. Well done, Linda. And then we have got, oh, oh, look at that, gorgeous. That's yep. beautiful. So I this is a bar one. Fantastic. You did this one. Did I? Yeah, when we launched it. Did I? Yeah. yeah. That was so a bit basic. <laughs> yeah, you did that. Well, <laughs> oh, when you think right. back in 2016. It's, it is one of my favourites. Well, such thank a, you. You're so no, because, good. Well, it's, 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 it is that... I don't know what it is. It's that kind of looking out or looking in magical thing. You know, it's just that beautiful... But look at That's that. That's lovely. Is that Dee's? Dee yeah. Paramore. God, doesn't that look lovely on the brown? They are absolutely I love that. Gorgeous. And I love the bit of the black work around the edge as well, yeah. Dee. That looks beautiful. like a, taper, a ta tapestry. Isn't that yeah. Yeah. fantastic? Yeah, that's just kind of absolutely beautiful. And, look, uh, and I do like I this know, one as well. There's Dee again. What a masterpiece. All that pico Look cutting. at that. And that's using all the different elements. You see, that's the thing about Groovy. You can put them wherever you like. Yeah. I love uh, this. By the way, 20% of this bundle has I'm already Got. Now, please, uh, if, you wa if you want uh, the, the groovy winter scenes by Jenna Sorenko, the complete groovy collection, five plates in total, do please check out your baskets, whether it's online or go your, give Lovely. us a call. Please do, um, you know, just, just get, uh, you know, if you want it. Get, check out those baskets. The item number is 065377. Uh, 44 pounds and 95 pence is what you're paying. Uh, it has got the same in 17 pounds, but I do believe Plus it the got... Plus the five pounds as well. Pound. So that is 23 pounds. 22 pounds. Uh, 22, sorry, 22 points. That's, that's no. why Paul's here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> not, not Plus no, also, listen. it's written on a piece uh, of paper. <laughs> <laughs> There's been too many figures to say. <laughs> uh, all right, so we have got a lot of more inspiration as well. Uh, we are going to head to the demonstration area, but here is more inspiration by the design team from Clarity. so inspirational to see what they do with the design team do really beautiful isn't they it are, they are. yeah uh, thank you very much thank all you. you good good people 
on the design team. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they are something special. Yep. Um, so and, and so what I thought I would do is I would start with uh, a scene that you're looking at here and keep it really simple and keep it quintessentially Jane. So what oh, you can see here, it's glittery, good. it's very simple, and it's showing you the, the, the technique, how this works with this um, background sky that we've added. See. So before we start, I need to show you just keep your eye on that one yeah. and then for example I want to show you for example so that you see what we're looking at this is the one with the little church and this is the one with the little church now check out the difference yeah look that we've we've eliminated do you see, yeah, I, I can see we've yes. eliminated and now this is where oh, I yeah see. yeah now I get it yeah so yeah. this was the, this is the sky when we add the sky what I want to show you is this. So if you look at the masks, yeah. you'll see when you receive the mask, it looks like two pictures. I don't know if you can see this. Yes. It, there are two pictures on here mm. of the same like church turret, if you like. Yeah. When I take this one at the top, yeah. it reveals this one at the bottom, ah. if you like. So when I take this one now, you have to peel this one. This one's not hard to peel, but you see, so this one here, sits on there doesn't it like that it does indeed. so that one will be easy to just mm. step then you take this one and you stamp over the top of there if I want to drop the sky down mm -hmm. then I take the second one this oh. is really smashing to do yeah. watch see with the groovy you could put it where you like so mm. on this one we've eliminated that, and then yeah, you take. Like, does that make sense? That's completely. That's and then it's just sense. a question, uh, and it's ever so easy. In the nine o'clock show tomorrow morning, uh -huh. I'll show you exactly how to eliminate that back hill. Oh. Yeah. But it's. I just wanted to show you, and both of the stamps come with these. Call them double layer, mm. double tier masks, mm. so that you can completely change the perspective. Let me just pop this one back, but you'll see if you if you look at these two. I was teasing the guys on my blog the other day, but it just completely changes the perspective. Look at the church yeah. there, yeah. and now look at the church there. This one is so so much further down in the hill. It Isn't does. that strange? Yeah, yeah? Exactly. So just having those options, and the good thing is that what I've shown you here. What I've shown you here, you can do exactly the same with the other new one. But you remember at the two to four show, I was talking about the um, the, the the masking. Yes, of course, yeah, the sheets. masking technique. Yeah. Well, you could do it with all of, of them. Now. Uh -huh. You just stamp it, stamp the yeah. landscape yeah. onto that mask, and then cut the hill that you want to use mm -hmm. as a cover. Of course. So, so that's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. I'm going to stick to the yeah. original one. So for example, on the stamp, that's the stamp, isn't it? And then I'm just going to show you exactly how it works. So we'll keep it very simple, very, very classy, nice. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, we do have queues on the phone, so the, be the easiest way to uh, shop with us is through the website. However, you still can, um, you know, you still can give us a call. The call center is upstairs, which is well, always lovely to know that, you know, there are people. Is it the, there's someone listening yes. to you. Yeah. yeah. Now this is um, this is a big stamp. These are all huge stamps, especially this is a full surface stamp. Mm -hmm. You know, the larger the stamp, the more more challenging. So again, what I've done is I'm pu I've put it on acetate. Oh. Right? It comes on acetate. I'm going to use it on acetate. I find it much easier to stamp a large stamp With than on a hard... You just don't have to press so hard. Oh. So what I'm going to do now is just add... Yes. Um, I can use a VersaFine. I want a p nice black ink pad. So I can use VersaFine. I can use Archival. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm just going to stamp that in. Now, let me show you something else. If I... I can also, I'm back to brayers. Ah, and uh, you know, it's yeah. the traditional use of a brayer as well, isn't it? It is. So you can take the brayer and you can just ink up the stamp, especially in a minute, that's how we're going to do the sky. Mm -hmm. And you can ink up the stamp like so. And then just bear with me one second. It is basically like a printing, old e printing technique. It's, that's it's exactly ink, what yeah. a brayer used to be it's for, a, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Um, so we'll just take this and we'll lift that over and we'll place that down. And then we'll just pop that on there. And then I can just gently, I can rub. You see, and now I can make sure yeah. that I get every single bit of this. And you may have to do it a couple of times to get the pressure right. Yeah. But you know what? It's a piece of card. That's me covering myself here. You know that, don't you? <laughs> 
It is a piece of crap, but then also if you mess it up, I kind of sometimes I rescue, for instance, oh, I can oh, rescue yeah. the tree or I can rescue... Especially if you're doing decoupage, exactly, that's you just right. make sure that the, the, the best, best ones one <laughs> is visible. Exactly, so I <laughs> you select which bits. You do, uh, don't you? Yeah. You do indeed. So that's what I'm going to do. And then when I lift that off, I've got okay. a perfect yeah. a yeah. perfect image, just that's like so that. That's so beautiful. Um, and now, of course, the trick to do what I want to do now is take my, my mask. Mm -hmm. So if I, if I use my, this is my mm -hmm. mask from the... The one day special. From the one day special. And I, I take one that's dry, if that's okay with yeah, you. of course. Only because um, it's better if it's dry. What would happen if it's not dry? The chances are that the mask will pick up uh, the ink and then, and then deposit it yeah. again, right? Yeah. So what I'm going to do now, I wanted to show you this. This is, I, I, I've done one earlier. Because this is quite a, hang on, am I using the right one? Mm -hmm. No, this would be the second one, right? Forget that. I'm using the top one, aren't I? Easy. Yeah. Let's just use the top one. So this uh, is this one. Yeah. So I still need the middle one. Of course I do, silly girl. <laughs> Right, so I just realised. So what I'm going to do, you see this bit here, when you do this, just go easy because yeah. you've got quite a, it's quite delicate. Okay. And if you tear into it, the chances are it will tear. Yeah. So, so just go easy around this little area here. And I have already done this, but not this one. I, I just thought I really ought to show you. If, you. if you see me doing this, then you'll bear in mind that this is quite delicate. Once you've done it once, it'll be fine. But just go easy on the first time when you're when you're removing this, yeah? And this now is going to be the mask that sits over the top of this. Excuse my head for one minute while I just get that in place nicely. I reckon that'll be right, right there. Okay, so I've covered up now this part. Now enter this one. So this is going to sit on here. If I wanted to bring the sky down, I'd wipe those two hills away and I'd just drop ah, the sky down a little bit. We're going to do that at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. Oh, I see. Now this is solid black stamp or blue, whichever you mm. prefer. So I'm going to use a little bit, again, you need a wet ink pad, don't you? Yes. So I'm <laughs> going to, you definitely need a wet ink pad for this. Yes. Uh, a new or a wet, and tomorrow morning, again, what I am going to do is I'm going to, um, show you how to use paint. Oh, good. Yeah, I've got some really good paint that does this job just beautifully. Oh, okay. okay, so acrylic paint. It's acrylic paint, a golden uh, open paint oh. called Payne's Grey. Do you know it? I, I, I it's think fantastic. I know. Well, I, but it's I, fantastic, yeah. and it, it really is a game changer. Yeah. Right, so let's take this now and we'll turn this over and we're gonna, we know exactly where the, we need the base to be there and then we'll just turn this round like so yeah. and then we'll just press again exactly where we've got here and if it's not perfectly black, it doesn't matter, the sky often isn't perfectly Indeed. black, is it? Yeah, galaxies are far away exactly. that they are kind of a greyish sort of colour. See, and then I'm going to take this and uh, just so that it's the, it's the mount, but you'll find you get a much better impression if it's on acetate and then you can always still add. But what I wanted to show you was, like along here, <laughs> you know when you're stamping over the top of an, uh, a step? Yeah. Then it's a good idea, isn't it, to... There we go, yeah. lift that off. Right. That is yeah. perfect. Perfect, yeah. Right, so, so that works well, but when you're stamping over, the, over a kind of a, a hinge or a step, you've got to, like yeah. a stencil, yeah. you know, something like that. So now what we can see is there's quite a lot, I'm going to take a sponge, and you can see there's quite a lot of ink still ah, on, on the mask, see, isn't there? Yes. So what I'm doing is I'm just working that in to that tiny little white, do you see the little yeah, white the, the, yeah. halo? Yeah, yeah. So we'll just work that in, waste not, what not. And it doesn't matter if the mask gets a bit dirty, at least you know it works. Yeah. <laughs> right, so we do that. So, and you could do this to any one of those um, oh. landscapes. Look, oh. And then when you take that away, Look at that. isn't that lovely? Doesn't That's need a lot beautiful. more, really, no, does it? No, it doesn't. It doesn't, it doesn't need doesn't. a lot more. And then I can pop that back on its carrier sheet like so. See, I just yes. pop it back on its carrier sheet and it's ready for the next time. Okay. And now, now I've done that and I've done that and I've done that and I've put my, I'm going to yeah. put this yeah. on there. And then it's just a question of colouring in. So I'm just looking at the time and I'm aware that Paul kindly has come on to, um, to do some uh, groovy, groovy work with us. <laughs> and groovy work always takes longer 
yeah. than, um, than stamping. But I just want to show you a couple of little tricks to get this really beautiful traditional um, looking card. Mm. So everything I'm doing with this particular card, you can mm. do with all of them. So you could make a, a beautiful set of five gorgeous Winterland scenes, couldn't you? And you'll see in my one here, if you look, it, there isn't a lot of colour. I've kept it really tight. And all I've used is my favourite ones from the polychromos, the Parva yes, Castells. Yeah. And I've gone to the blacks and the greys and the beiges <laughs> and the sandy colours. These ones here, yes. all these ones here. And I might grab a couple of greens only because there's always a little bit of green peeping out, yeah. isn't there, <laughs> yeah, even it when is. it's snowy. Yeah. It makes it so always so beautiful to see this hint of uh, green does. coming it through. It does. And then it's just a question, if you, if you start with the lightest colour, if we just go into this area here, for example, let's just focus on the bridge. Mm -hmm. And you'll start maybe with the lightest colour. Mm -hmm. Do you like colouring in? I Are love colouring. Yeah, I, I'm not a colouriner, but I do love colouring. For me, it's kind of the most relaxing is it things. yeah i do love it um and i think it's it's one of those things especially the polychromos or any is yep. any good quality uh, coloring makes such a difference it so it so does it, and the thing is with the polychromos one of the things that you, you you don't want to press too hard from the outset because it creates like a seal doesn't it so all the time you just light feathery strokes you can keep adding depth so i've gone from beige to gr light gray now i've gone to, to black and you see now i can get in there and i can really add some depth i'm only doing the bridge just to show you so you can you just dance between mm -hmm. the three the three shades really don't yeah. you just be aware that on the bridge is snow on the on the on the trees for example this bit here is supposed to be snow so you'd leave it white and that's what we're going to add glitter to so i would maybe darken this bit i might add a little t a little flash of yeah. green through here wouldn't yeah, you yeah i would yeah kind of peeping and just a little flash of green yeah, yeah. it is but yeah. But this is really, most of it, you want to keep it white. Where it's white in this tree, Jane has yeah. definitely, her intention was to make sure that that stayed white. Yeah. I need to tell you that we are over 20% of the one day special, of 20% of the stock has already gone. Is the stamps, the brand new Jane Nasarenko stamp set, those gorgeous stamps, you can see them there in your screens, those gorgeous skies and bridge and the church as well as the, the stone, um, Fence or wall, wall. Gorgeous. Um, 29, pa 29 pounds and 98 pence plus PMP is all you are paying. You are making a saving of 10 pounds. Uh, if you want to secure yours, if you want to have, um, you know, beautiful artwork, quintessentially English for Christmas, but also all year round, do please check out your baskets, whether you are doing it online or giving us a call. We are very, very busy. I'm glad to hear it. Yeah. And I, and I, yeah, I'm at a lot of different levels. Yes. But what I wanted to do is like, rather than, than rush this, I just want to show you, because I want to hand over to Paul now. It's about the application of the sticky I ink. I love that. Right, the thing about sticky ink, let me show you. Let me put the lid on so I can turn it to you. Here we go. All right, okay. So sticky ink, it, it's actually pergamano, isn't it? Yes. But the thing about sticky ink is that it stays sticky until you put something on it. Okay. So for example, if I take my, and, and also the, um, the mapping pen that comes with the sticky ink, you see this? I'm sure that we've got it in, on the television mm. here, haven't we, on her chander, together. Is yeah. it there? Yeah. Uh, it's just looking. So right. Which and one? what you'll see is, you see, let me just show you just quickly. You just you dip it in and you'll see that when you when you press down, you it puddles and then you just smooth it through where you want. And the thing about using a mapping pen with it, this is the marvelous part, mm -hmm. is you can see I'm just going for where the mm -hmm. snow is. Do you see? Yeah. Like on, on the tree now, and I'll just drag it through. But I would probably make sure that I've done all my coloring first, Paula. Yeah before I do this. In fact, not probably, I definitely would. And why is that? Because once I've got glitter down, it'd be quite hard oh, to get in with my course. pencils. I could damage the nape as well. Yeah, the exactly. Well, yeah. Um, and so, but the thing is that when you, see, I could do this whole picture mm -hmm. at my leisure and not give a second thought. See, and, and I can also, I can, you can come through and I don't mm -hmm. have to worry about it being uh, drying or that I'm, I'm gonna, it's going to dry and then it won't take the glitter or whatever. Do you see what I mean? 
So you just, you can run it through and you could do the whole picture. You could spend a whole hour sorting out the trees, sorting out the bridge. Yep. And then when you're happy with that, then all that's needed to do then is just pop a piece of under here and then you go to your Perga glitter. Yep. These are gorgeous. Mm -hmm. There are six in here. Bit, oh, Take any one you fancy. I'm going to go with a dash of actually green. Yeah, that's we've got, really a hint we've of got green. green on the trees. Yeah. And you'll see wherever I just popped a little bit there. And I could put oh, glitter yes. in the I could put glitter in all the stars yeah. with a mapping pen also. Oh. And you'll see that wherever I've added the glitter, and look, it's even stuck to the to the ink because it's, it's still, still wet. But it will fall yeah. off. In oh, it will, as soon way, as I dust yeah. it, it will come off. Okay. But but the lovely thing is, let me just yeah, hold that, just give you that. I just wanted to show you that then when I when I pop that in there, like so. The thing about the, the, the sticky ink is it stays sticky until you actually de-stick it by it. adding something to it. And then I could take, let me take a clean brush, yeah. if I may, yeah. and I'll just show you as I do this, the glitter will stick oh, only to the place where I where I actually it. That is there gorgeous. Go. So it's just an easy way yeah. of working and then and yeah, those are the too. tricks and tips and yeah. the, and the glitter so the idea is you've got the mask you've got an interchangeable um, uh, uh, sky. sky you can add your glitter to any area you like and then um, and, and the glitter is not just for parchment, it's also for card. Indeed. And okay. also, of course, the way that you have used the uh, amazing, uh, the, you know, the sticky ink as well as the pen. Yeah, By the way, we do really have lovely. it on the website. So we ca you can see it on the website here that we have it. Uh, it's the mapping pen, the sticky ink and the parchment. Now, it is fabulous as um, Barbara was showing for adding that glitter. But I think it does work as well with a gilding flakes, doesn't it? Oh, that fantastic. Yeah. So yeah. imagine to be able to draw those fine lines and yeah. then put in some you can get so fine with and if, if you wipe it with a baby wipe the um, the nib um, bef before it sets it's fantastic well that's a top tip oh, well, clean. now there you have it the details 12 pounds and 94 pence is all you're paying Excellent. for that bundle now we have got an amazing one day special from clarity and of course the you know it's a Jane Nasarenko beautiful artwork there are brand new stamps brand new images that we have got here for clarity with those gorgeous bridges with the gorgeous that you can build those scenes uh, and they mix and match you are you know your own creator of that scene building those layers of the you know the wall the stone wall with the sky the church image or the bridge they all they also come with masks therefore Building those layers is going to be really be easily for you. It's going to be able to create those gorgeous scenes, maybe in browns, all year round. That luscious green, uh, you know, in the summer days, driving through the beautiful countryside, and you can be inspired by them and creating your own scenes, maybe for winter, maybe for those gorgeous snowy scenes. But then you can see how the same images transforms into a spring scene, maybe a wedding card as well. Now you can see it, the same image. But what about? just using that sky on its own with just a Noel isn't that, isn't that just a stunning or what about using just a bit of the church and that gorgeous uh, wall in here which mm. is completely transforms it if you wanted to do different proportions the way that you can do it and I have to show you one more because I absolutely adore this one wow. how original is that is that, I believe, one of the pattern papers that it's you have? from, I think, Waimea Falls. Waimea Falls. Isn't, Isn't that, that lovely? Gorgeous? Completely different. It's almost like it bec has become an alpine, um, you know, a village in there now. So if you want the one day special, you are getting those gorgeous forest stamps as well as the mask that match perfectly. 381 344 is your item number. £29.98 plus plus PMP is all you are paying. You're having a saving of £10. As I got Paul was mentioning is about 25% uh, discount so it's a really really good now we have got also groovy plates brand new matching that beautiful artwork by Jane Nestorenko they are absolutely stunning they are scenes in an A5 groovy plate now look at those gorgeous images what about creating your own wintry scene in the beautiful parchment add in detail like glitter you select which bits you want to do so if you want the whole scene that is gorgeous but look at that 
I think is a stunning incorporating other groovy plates and traditional parchment if you wanted to you know adding color or leaving them the church completely white look at that how beautiful is going to be but of course they are Christmas but they are all year round what about for a wedding that would make the most stunning and the sizes one of the things I love about this is that the smaller cards but look at this one isn't that just a stunning this one is by Josie what an extraordinary talent to create all those edges but you can create this gorgeous tra transfer that beautiful artwork from Jaina Sorenko with the groovy plates if you want to go for the groovy plays, the A5 uh, scenes by Jane Sorenko, the Winter Bridge in the uh, village, over 40% of this bundle has already gone, and I'm not surprised. It's absolutely stunning. The item number is 701605, £16.98 plus PMP is all you are paying. Of course, you're saving £5. Now, we have got also, we have mentioned that the one day special is a brand new stamps, but we did, uh, Clarity did bring us uh, some of the previous. Jaina Sorenko uh, seams and here is the whole bundle including those previously released stamps as well as the brand news if you want to go for this bundle here it is it's a beautiful mix in a matching with those elements that you can incorporate in cre creating your own scenes this one includes those elements the single elements so imagine putting the silhouette of a cat we look at looking at the birds in there can you you know they are a stunning beautiful designs and of course they mix and match perfectly with those brand new ones that are including in here now uh, this is this one is incredibly busy and I'm going to show you a couple of uh, samples because they are stunning look how this is for me such a Jane Sorenko still now 40% of the stock has already gone. If you want to secure the full collection, the complete stamp collection by Jane Nesorenko with those winter scenes in there. Now the, this, the item number is 653479. Now what about creating also gift wrapping paper in there? So it's not just for cards, it's incorporating them into wrapping presents and creating those scenes. This would work really well for a wedding. Um, if you have a wedding gift and you want to make a wrapping press a paper that has got that beautiful artwork well, but see yeah could be for all year round and this is what I absolutely love about these images that they are not just for Christmas they are all year round now the item number for the complete stamp collection is 653479 66 pounds and 95 pence plus PMP is your price of course it has got a saving of 23 pounds but it carries forward the um, the pre the saving from the origin so 10 pounds from that as well now uh, now Groovy we mentioned that they were brand new plates but of course they uh, Groovy had a previous release three plates from Jaina Storenko with our beautiful winter scenes. Now if you want to go for the full bundle, if you didn't get them at the time they were released and you want all five of them, here it is your item number is 065377, 40 44 and 90 uh, pounds and 95 pence plus PMP is all your pain, saving 17 pounds. Um, now they are beautiful. You can create scenes in which you incorporate the different elements in there. You can incorporate them in a beautiful traditional parchment. Now it is incredibly busy, this item, this bundle. Uh, half of the stock has already gone in here. Look at that, incorporating whatever. Maybe you have got other groovy plates that have got different shapes in there and you want to create those scenes in there. Look at that gorgeous, those children playing in the sleigh. And of course you can choose this uh, the little kid in here now is playing with the snowman isn't that gorgeous and then what about having he and um, her or his friend coming in and joining in with the and playing in the snow if you want this item to play in this bundle please do go and um, you know jump you know ju just check out because otherwise you might miss out and nobody does like to miss out in things that we really like do you now uh, we have got more items on the website and here you have got and you have got the one day special those gorgeous stamps as well we have got a uh, different items that are available individually if you want to go for them individually by all means but the biggest saving of course is in the bundles whatever you know the bigger the bundle the bigger the saving it is if you are one of those ones that wants to have the full collection I do recommend to go for them because there you have it the complete a uh, sum uh, collection in there that carries of uh, you know the f saving forward and of course you have got the same case with the groovy collection we have indeed yeah. yeah and now we have got a uh, Paul to show us um, you know, using the groovy place. Yep, so I thought I'd 
<coughs> keep gorgeous. this one nice yep. and simple. Um, so this actually starts off as clear parchment and we're going to really? change the colour of it. Wow, yeah. I'm looking forward. Um, and it, it's very simple and you can see it's just taking a small element and this frame round the outside, this is called Jane's frame. Ah. Um, so when we brought out the original yes. collection, we had this beautiful picture frame okay. because when Jane designed the stamps, she designed it to go mm. with a picture frame. That's so it, you're sort of looking into it. So to start off with what I've done, I've taken the Pico squares mm -hmm. um, that we've got on the show and I've just die cut out so that I can concentrate like we did in the two yes. to four on the middle. Yeah, you did You did say that you die cut first before you doing do. any gluing. Yeah, because if you're going to do white work yeah. and stuff like that, what you don't want to do is do all your work and then put it through the machine and then you get it slightly off a bit. One, it would squidge all your white work, but two, if you go on crooked, then you're good. Yeah. So it's best to always to start off with the die cut first. Mm. And what I'm going to do, I'm, so I'm using Jane's plate here, mm -hmm. and if I turn it over so we can have a look, yeah. you can see it's got a beautiful oh. um, alphabet in there, uppercase beautiful. and lowercase, yeah. and then it's got various different sentiments. So you've got happy birthday, yeah. we've got very best wishes, yeah. we've got, we'll go that way, wishing you both a, yeah. and then what one of them is, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas at the bottom. Oh. But obviously that can, they can go anywhere because yeah. of the versatility of, of the groovy yeah. system. And if you don't want them anywhere, you, you don't you have don't to have incorporate to, no. Oh, or you could even say just happy, or, you know, or you could just pick and you choose. You can change Merry Christmas to Happy, happy Christmas. Christmas. Yeah. Um, yep, so you can sort of just mix match. So I'm just wiping over with the tumble dry sheet. And then all I'm going to do is just line it up. And it's very, very tight against that little edge there because mm -hmm. obviously it wasn't designed to work specifically for this, but I'm making it work for me. So we've got the groovy tabs, yeah. which come in the accessories kit. Yeah. Okay. So we have got uh, the also the guard that you have got. The on groovy the guard, yep, the tabs and 20 sheets oh. of A5 parchment. Mm -hmm. So I'm using this to go along the edge so I can just put mm -hmm. that very fine line in. And then all I'm going to do is just keep the plate in one direction mm -hmm. and go through and do all the ah. downward ones first. Yeah. Yep. Okay, now I'm going to turn it to an angle and again turn your work so that it feels more comfortable to you. So you should do the, always bring the tool towards you? I find it's easier to do that um, because it's more of a natural, natural. rather than go across yeah. yourself yes. you get more resistance. So I just find it's easier to come towards me. So we're now going to do the side over here. So again you can see how easy it is just to create this beautiful frame. Um, this frame itself, you can use, I mean, for me, this is my sort of an essential, this particular yes. plate. I can see um, why. Because you've got all the um, squares on there mm. as well, which if you've got the starter kit, they extend mm. from there in the same increments. Mm. Okay, so mm. we're gonna just pop those in. Now I need to put these ones in. So all I'm gonna do is remove my groovy tab Yep. and reposition it to where I've just been yep. and do the same yep. just down there, mm -hmm. okay? Yep. So we're going to complete the actual frame. Yep. So it's nice and easy. And you mentioned in the previous hour that um, there is no age kind of restrictions, Restriction, is there? No, absolutely not. If you can hold a pen, you can use the groovy system. It yep. really is as simple as that. Okay, yeah. so we've popped that in. So now I'm going to put Merry Christmas in in the bottom while that's still in place. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Yeah, so we're just going to pop that in there. And so because you're working on the reverse of the parchment, you have to spell backwards. Ah. But with this, you don't need to worry about getting any spelling mistakes because the work has already been done for you. Oh. Can see, okay. yeah. and I, I do really love this phone. And by the way, we are incredibly um, busy for the Jane and Sorenko, um, well, Jane's frame Jane's and frame, Jane's frame. Yeah, frame. an alphabet. And yeah. it's great. And a lot of people have this. And it, for me, if I'm doing something, if I want to do a small piece, just having that little aperture within the inside it concentrates what you're working on. Yeah. Um, if you didn't put the words in on the frame, you could take some of the elements from some of the other plates, like you know the, um, yes. the little mittens and the postcards, and you can fill those in as well. 
And I've just seen that I've just missed those two lines and as well. Because it's an alphabet, if you wanted, you could personalize it to the person Absolutely. you are sending. So yeah. you, their names. So I'm so just going to move that there. Yeah. OK. Um, yeah. Now this time, what I'm going to do, I'm going to redact it slightly. Okay. Because at the top of the plate here, it says, wishing you both A. Yeah. But I just want to say, wishing you A. So I um. want to make it singular. Yeah. So all I'm going to do, if I was to go wishing you and yeah. put the A there, yeah. it's a little bit off centre. So I'm just going to move it over slightly. Uh, and I then see. I'm using the grooves within yeah. the area there and the straight line down here so that I know I'm going on straight and not wonky. Yeah, and that's okay. one of the beauties of parchment, isn't it? That you can see You exactly. can see through it. Mm. So again, we'll just trace out. But I love having the versatility mm. of the system that you can actually go in and personalise it as well. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so we'll just finish writing this out. So we've got wishing. And again, if you go too fast and you keep jumping mm. out, nothing's going to happen yeah. because it's only going to go where the grooves are within the plate. Yeah. Uh, now, Jane's frame uh, details are on the screen. The item number is 730137. £14.99 pence plus PNP is what you're paying. Ima you know, you will have the full alphabet as well as those uh, concentric or matting and layering uh, squares. Yeah, you absolutely. Know? Actually, I was thinking that you could use the these as well to mat and layer the cut the size, you know, cards. Cards so, you as know, well. Yeah. It's a little bit more difficult to see through of cards, course, yeah. but you can sort of get a rough idea with that. So there we go. So we've got a beautiful frame um, mm. ready to go. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. And now we want to put the beautiful yeah, scene in place. Of course. So we've got choices. We've got the um, the church one, which is what I'm going with. Uh, this is an A5 plate. Yes. So in order to have that hold that in place, we're going to use the calligraphy plate mate. Okay. Okay. So, so it's a nice A4 plate mate. Yeah. But the aperture in it, different to the starter kit. Yeah, which is square. Which is square, which is an A5 square. Okay. So this one here is the A5. Okay. And now my frame becomes a window viewer. Ah, you see, so yes. I can move it around. I forgot we haven't got the overhead on this yeah. one, have we? Um, so all we're going to do is decide exactly where we're going to pop that. Yep. Okay, so I reckon we can go yeah. just there. Okay. 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 So where's my groove tabs? I always, yeah. I often find them on the cat or the dog. Yeah. Because they, they go everywhere <laughs> yeah. on your sleeve, you know what it's yeah. like. And now, I've now become the artist and mm. choose the elements oh, I, I want. So we'll just give that a little wipe and what we'll do is we're just going to bring the church to life just so that you can see how easy it is to do because I've got one completely traced out. Yeah. And what tool, I mean, um, what tool are you using? So I'm using the number one tool mm -hmm. um, from the starter kit. Um, in the, if I go to the other end, it gives me the number two tool and that would give me a softer line. Ah, I see. Um, yeah. But I prefer, for me personally, if I'm not doing any white work, to get that beautiful crisp white line. Yeah. Okay. So that's part of the starter the kit. The starter kit, yep. yeah. yeah. And so. details are coming up at the bottom of the screen if you are interested in the starter kit. Okay. So all I'm going to do, we'll just do the, the church just so that you can see how easy it is to bring it to life. Gorgeous. And it's so kind of, I mean, even watching you do it, it's so it relaxing. It's it is, yeah. I mean, I, I often do this with it on my lap. Uh, yeah. I've got one of those trays. Yes. See, and you can even the fine detail. None of the team back at the office, Jim and mm. Lucy and Saffron, mm -hmm. they haven't lost any of the detail from the stamp design yeah. in the groovy. Yeah, okay. that kind of, it's just so much. Uh, by the way, half of the stock has already gone off the winter seams, the ruby plates by, by with that beautiful uh, Jane's work in there. Look at that, the gorgeous church, the gorgeous um, bridges and the, the wall as well. It's beautiful. Okay. So what you would do, you'd complete the scene. So we'll jump to one. If I give that to you, Paola, you yeah, can yeah, hold that up and yeah. you can see then that's what it looks like. So it just takes a little while, just obviously the trees have got so much detail they on there. They do. Um, and once you get into it, and it doesn't matter if you miss the odd leaf out or something like that, it's really not going to make any difference. Okay, 
So now the magic begins. We're oh, now going to turn yes. this into that. Into that. Oh, I'm looking forward okay. to that. So it's a trick that Barbara came up with a couple of years back when we first, we didn't have coloured parchment oh, back no. then. Um, and she thought, well, how can we sort of change it? Good old stencil it's brush. Right. Yeah. Artistry. And an artistry ink pad. Yes. That is as simple as it yeah. gets. Yeah. So we're um, going to grab um, some copy paper. And then all we're going to do is ink up, and I know we've got these on the show. Mm. So, uh, so I'm just going to ink it up. Yep. And rather than go straight onto the parchment, I just want to test it to see yep. what I've got on there. And then all I'm going to do mm -hmm. is just build up that colour. Okay, yeah. so I'm going to go in one direction first, yeah. but we can see, if I hold that up to the camera, yes. you can see yeah, that really yeah, well. Can you can see how not much is on there, and it just starts to build it up. It does. Okay, yeah. and I haven't loaded the brush up just yet. Wow. So I'm just going on really, really dark with the outer frame. Are the artistry inks water-based? They are, yeah. Okay. But because they're not too wet, yeah. um, they're not going to damage the parchment, because yeah. parchment doesn't like moisture. Um, so we just keep loading yeah. it up. And, and of course, the you can use then the copy of paper for something else. You could indeed, yeah. <laughs> like Leona style. Um, but it's great, because what you can do, the longer you go on, the darker it becomes, mm. the more dramatic it is. Sure. So now I'm going to go over to the mm. inner part. Yeah. And start, and we can now really start to sort of just change the colour. And we can see it sort yeah. of really starting to change yeah. in colour. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And you could do that with other colour in the You could do it with any colour yeah. at all. Yeah, I just, whoops, yeah. I just think it's nice with this beautiful blue, blue colour. Okay. So. I was thinking maybe for a sunset to do it with like yellows and white. Yeah, oranges exactly. I mean, you could like use that. the mask material yeah. um, to oh create some masks that as could well. Work. That would. Uh, we do have the uh, mask, um, like the sheets separately. Yeah, you get 20 sheets of A5. Um, and I know they were popular earlier on yeah, and also in the two to four. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's great. If you're just tuning in, um, Barbara and Paul were here before as well at 224. Uh, it was completely different products in there, but if you want to watch uh, what uh, they uh, taught us uh, to do, how to do, use uh, stencils and stamps uh, and ruby uh, plates, of course, uh, you can catch it on the website on Rewind. Okay, so should we turn it yes, over for the reveal? Time. We'll get rid of that first and then we'll turn it over Look and I'll at hold that. that up. Look at that. At that. That's so you've beautiful. got that really nice. But the magic is still to happen. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Because I want snow. Yes. Okay. So what I'm going to do is take an eraser pencil. Yes. And then where I want the snow <gasps> to be. That's magic. I have never thought. <gasps> like, I have seen you do that with a printed parchment. With but I didn't think part. that with the ink would work. Yeah, absolutely. This is magical. See, so I can start to remove that colour. <gasps> Really, oh really easily. And then, oh. See, and then you can choose where you want to take the colour out from. So if I want to take it out from those heels... Is that a special rubber? It's just a, um, an ink eraser uh, uh -huh. um, that you can get. Yeah. So, but you can see yeah. how easy it is to come off. And because I, I'm using the, the eraser, yes. um, it's a lot easier to use and you can control and go into the areas. Nice. Where you want course, it. Yeah. And what it will do is it will leave a little bit of the colour in place. Yeah. Um, so it adds that little bit of texture. And it kind of gives a hint of the monotone kind of, yeah, of a blue. That's right. kind of thing. So, and then what you can also do, which I find is really useful, is if you have the light panel on underneath. Okay, awesome. because I'm on the white paper, so let me just grab my light panel yes, that I've got course. under here. The light panel is a magical thing, I think. So lightweight and so portable as well. Um, you know. There we go. So if I pop that on there, mm -hmm. and we'll put this on to full brightness, one, two, three, mm -hmm. you see, and I can now see exactly where the design is mm -hmm. um, and where I just need to remove that colour out. Oh, Okay, and you can add shading by using the rubber. And if you think, oh, I've taken too much off, yeah. then you can just go back in yeah. and reapply it. That's really cool. 
That's just a simple, but so cool, such yeah. a cool technique. And it was sort of, Barbara came up with it, say, back in the early days of <laughs> um, parchment, um, when we didn't have all the colour parchment like we do now. Yeah. Um, and it's because Barbara and I are stampers, mm. and Jane was a stamper as well, mm -hmm. it was just bringing over the different stuff that we already had in the toolbox. Mm -hmm. It is. See, and if I take that down a little bit, maybe if I go on one, two, there yeah, we go. Can we yeah, see that a little bit better? A bit better yeah. yeah, look at that. Um, and then you can just go through and then take out all the colour. Okay. Okay. And of course, the, every, you know, the beautiful artwork, the beautiful church is part of the collection, the Winter Scenes A5 groovy plate. Uh, details are on the screen for um, this gorgeous okay. art. Okay. And then to finish it off, all I've done, whoops, is taken <laughs> a piece of the white card that I've cut Look out at the that. same time with a few brads. This is beautiful. On there. Yeah. See? Yeah. And it's very, very subtle. And then you can notice on the one that I've done, yeah, I've gone on a bit yes. heavier with That's the colour, beautiful. so the more you go on, the more intense yeah. it will become. Isn't that beautiful? It's absolutely stunning. And then a little bit of purple glitter on the front? Yep. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's absolutely. Isn't that be glorious? Yeah. And, uh, but that would work also as a, w as a wedding card as well. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. With, uh, so, yeah, so you've got a colour theme yeah. to the wedding. Of course, that would yeah. be you know, an invitation or mm -hmm. just a mm -hmm. wedding card. So yeah. uh, because it didn't Gorgeous. take you long at all. No, it me? doesn't. It really doesn't. You just get into the groove, into literally. It is that easy. And it's such a good way to transfer, well, that's the best way to transfer artwork to mm. parchment. I think it's just, uh, you know, so uh, beautiful. And it's you can repeat it again mm. and, and again, again and again. And it, it will look always handmade, but not homemade. Yeah. <laughs> mm. you know, that's really lovely, Paul. It is. Isn't that delicate? It is absolutely beautiful. It's yeah. gorgeous. Let, let me hold it there. Really nice. Of course, it is. If you want to create this at home, the best way is to get the yeah, unique place. You know, the uh, Ruby Winter Scenes A5 Ruby Plates as duet by Jane Sorenka with the Winter Bridge and the Winter village or winter church I think it's called. Mm -hmm. well, and if you want to go, go for the brand new plates as well as the previously released from Jane Nasarenko you have got the full bundle as well the options there the bottom details at the bottom of the screen remember now you are gonna uh, Barbara and Paul you're gonna be back We're here back at, at eight, yeah. uh, at eight. Back at eight again mm -hmm. excellent thank you Teamwork so much makes the dream work it, it does indeed and tomorrow at nine both of us again yep. and one, one and five if there's any stock <laughs> Thank you so much, both Thank of you. you it's Pam. been always, as always, Thank inspirational, Thank educational. You. And uh, we will see you after the break and good evening, Hutton. Bye now.